My name is John Donovan. I'm an expert in telecommunications. This video contains excerpts from an excellent video produced by Sumitomo Electric, a prominent manufacturer of fiber optic cable splicing machines. The purpose of this video is to show how easy it is to splice fiber cables using state-of-the-art equipment available in the industry for the past 20 years. Fiber optic cable normally used by telephone companies contains ribbons of 12 fibers each. Splicing machines are able to seamlessly melt 12 fibers at a time in perfect alignment. The process starts after performing an arc test to make sure the glass melting system is calibrated. The first step is to be sure to slip a fiber protection sleeve over one of the fiber ribbons to be spliced before stripping and cleaving the fibers. Once two fiber ribbons have been joined, a technician cannot slip the protection sleeve onto the splice joint later. The next step is to place the fiber ribbon into a fiber ribbon holder and then strip the fiber coating from the ribbon containing 12 fibers. The technician then cleans and cleaves, i.e. cuts, the bare fibers, followed by placing the fiber ribbon holder into the splicing machine. Once the two ends of the fiber ribbons are placed in the splicing machine, the technician then presses a green button to start the splicing process. The splicing machine brings the fiber ribbon ends close to each other and the technician then presses the green button again to resume the splicing process. An arc is then generated and an arc count is displayed. After the fibers are spliced, an estimated splice loss is displayed, usually about one or two one hundredths of a dB of loss for the completed fiber splice. The technician then works to reinforce the fiber splice by opening the hood on the splicer, opening the heat shrink oven clamps and acrylic transparent lid, opening the fiber holder lid and sliding the sleeve over the spliced portion of the two fiber ribbons that have been joined together. The fiber joint is then lowered onto the right clamp, arm number one, and it's pushed down. While pulling the fiber, the left side of the ribbon is lowered onto the left clamp, arm number two, and that's pushed down. When lowering the fiber onto the heat shrink oven, the markings on the heat shrink oven are used as a reference to center the splice. The yellow key on the splicing machine is then pressed to start the heat shrinking of the protective sleeve. The heating cycle indicator bar on the right side of the splicing machine enables checking the progress of the heat cycle on the monitor as the green bar moves from the bottom to the top of the scale. When the green bar reaches the top, the heating cycle is completed. A beep sounds when the heating process is completed. The protected splice is then removed and placed into a cooling tray. This completes all of the work required to splice 12 fibers in only a few minutes with a typical splice loss of less than 2 one hundredths of a dB.